So have you found any Black Friday deals for cruise vacations? Well, we did. We just canceled a cruise in 2022 and booked even a better deal. Find out how. So today I want to show you how Jill and I managed to find a better deal for a cruise we're doing in March 22. And uh, before we get much farther, uh, Jill has gone off to work, but I did catch her this morning in the kitchen before she headed down the road, and uh, here's what she had to say. Hi everyone, very excited to announce we just booked a Black Friday sale and we are going on the Rotterdam Hall in America for my spring break. Can't wait, I'm ready to run to work right now, but very excited, saw a tour of the ship last night looks beautiful can't wait to be on board so you can see we booked a cruise with holland america and we switched it out for a carnival cruise now that is saying something because we were booked in with carnival with a travel agent rate that we've booked sometime uh, mid 21 and uh, this black friday sale came out last night we looked at it with all the perks included we pushed this into our cruise spreadsheet, and if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a little bit of a link here to a video that I did on that, and also uh, provide a link below as to how you can download this, this cruise uh, spreadsheet. And we tried to compare dollars for dollars as to what the better cruise experience was going to be, and it came out that it was Holland America over Carnival. We figured out that our dollars were going to go further, so I want to show you a little bit about how we made that happen. So we looked around at all kinds of different cruise sales for Black Friday. We weren't really planning on changing our Carnival cruise. It was on uh, the Carnival Pride heading out of Tampa in mid-March and heading down to Cozumel, Roatan, and uh, Belize. But uh, we found a deal that we just couldn't turn down from Holland America and on their new ship, uh, the Rotterdam. And uh, Holland America, what they're offering right now during Black Friday, and it's one of the better deals that I've seen out there, it includes shore excursions. For, for us, that was up to $100 each, so $200 in shore excursions. The drink package was included for both of us in our fare. Specialty dining at one night is also included. Free Wi-Fi on the ship for the entire cruise. Uh, the crew appreciation, so the tip gratuity, is also included in the fare, and the deposit was relatively low. It was under $200, and all these are American dollars that I'm going to be talking today. So we took all that. We crunched it against Carnival, which was a bare-bone cruise, no specialty, no drink package, no tips, no internet. And I'm going to show you right here how we managed to basically figure out that Holland America was going to be less money than doing the same vacation traveling on Carnival. So let's break this down. So first of all, with the Carnival Cruise, our fare for two people for a obstructed ocean view room was $1,400. Now to be fair, our room with the Rotterdam is an inside room, but we managed to get an inside room that had a sofa. So it's a little bit larger inside room than your typical inside, but it doesn't have the obstructed. But Carnival considers the obstructed ocean view cabin, the 4K category, to actually be inside. So it kind of is a fair price comparison, at least, even if it's not exactly the same style of room. So Carnival was in at $1,400. Our Hall America cruise was around $2,000. I'm just rounding off to avoid odd numbers here. It was $2,000. So right off the bat, it was $600 more for the Hall America cruise. But keep in mind, when you go on a cruise, there are more expenses there than meets the eye. For example, for seven day cruise, your tips for two people is gonna run around $200. So you have to factor that in on top of the Carnival's $1,400. So now we're up to $1,600. We always get internet on our cruise. And so that's something else we're going to have to pay for. It usually runs me at least $100. And I think that's being conservative. So we add another $100. So now we're up to $1,700 for the Carnival cruise. And with the Holland America, there was one specialty dining night. So if you factor that in, say night at the steakhouse at Carnival, you're running yourself close to another $100, maybe $80, some, somewhere in there. You're almost up to $1,800 for the Carnival Cruise compared to the Holland America Cruise. Now, our Holland America Cruise was $2,000. Now, so let's think about the little bit extra. So for, so for $200 more, what we figured we were getting was now the full drink package, unlimited drinks, or 15 drinks per day is the Holland America limit. And we we're also getting that $200 fare excursion. So when you factor all that in, we figured that the Carnival Cruise to do the exact same cruise would have cost us almost $2,700 whereas all we paid was just over $2,000 for the Holland America with all that stuff included. So compared apples to apples, I think we came out ahead on this one. Even though we're putting a little more money up front, when you figure out the cost of the Carnival Cruise doing the exact same type of experience, 
Holland America. They had them beat this time. So there you are. That's how we did it. That's how we booked a Holland America over a carnival and, and, and figured that it was actually more bang for our buck and not much in the difference for, for price. So it's important when you see all these Black Friday sales and you compare it in cruises to make sure you're comparing the same thing because sometimes the one that appears more money, when you get into the weeds of doing all those extras on a cruise ship that we all do, that it's going to be a little better to pay that money up front that you're going to pay in the, in the back anyway. So, so good luck out there finding those Black Friday cruise sales. Uh, I hope you find some deals like we did and are able to cruise once again, heading into 2022 and uh, more so as the cruise industry comes alive again. And if any questions or comments, put them in below. We're always looking to, to help folks out. And uh, if you're on the Holland America Rotterdam cruise in March, I think we're leaving on March 13th, then we look forward to seeing you there. So take care, everybody, stay safe and uh, watch for the next video. And hopefully Jill's back then. So bye for now. Thank you.